Hey everyone. In this short video, I'll show you how our image to 3D tool turns one image into a clean 3D model you can download and use. We'll do four examples, an ax, a dino, a stylized character, and a sketch. I'll also show quick tips that make results better. Let's start with the sketch. Drag and drop the image into image to 3D. You can generate a 3D model right away, or you can clean up the image with AI first. For sketches, a quick cleanup helps a lot. Click edit with AI. You can use a preset or write your own prompt. I'll type, transform this sketch into a clean, stylized 3D orc with smooth surfaces. In the image edit tool, you can type in any changes you want. You can remove objects, change poses, change style, and much more. In this case, I will just add Disney slash Pixar style so the AI understands better what style we want. Then we can click generate. After generation, we can pick the result we like and return to image to 3D. Let's also adjust the generation settings open advanced options, set texture quality to detailed. If you plan to 3D print, you can turn off materials, close the options and click generate. As the AI model, I'm using Prism here, which is the best one and usually takes around 50 seconds to generate the 3D model. Now our 3D model has been generated and we can inspect it in the viewer and download it. We can also turn off the materials to check out the mesh and of course, remesh the model into different formats or retexture it. Let's try our second example image, a stylized character. We could directly generate this image, but I want to show you how I would improve the image before generation. In my case, I want to remove the sword and switch to a T pose. So I will click edit with AI. Our first prompt will be remove the sword from the image and click generate. After a few seconds, it got edited and you can pick a result. We are going to choose one and then do another change where we say change to a T pose with arms straight to the sides and legs straight. Then we can pick a result and go back to image to 3D. In this case, I want to turn off PBR, set texture quality to detailed, and then I can click generate again. After about a minute, the model got generated and is showing in the 3D viewer where you can view the mesh with materials on and off. From here, you can download it, remesh to other formats like GLB, FBX, OBJ, or STL. You can also segment the model into parts, retexture it, or send it to rigging. Let's go over to our third example. We have this image of a dyno. Our goal is to get a printable, clean mesh. For the 3D generation to work well, we can improve the image first so we get the best results. We are going to click edit with AI and say, remove the plants and holes on the dyno. We can choose one of the edits and then just to make sure we get the best result, make another change where we say, replace the background with a solid white background. We can again pick the cleanest image and go back in image to 3D. Here we can adjust the settings, set texture alignment to geometry, quality to detailed, and click generate. After about 50 seconds, the 3D model has been generated. In the viewer, we can now turn off materials and check the mesh. It's clean and watertight, ready for 3D printing. We can directly download it as GLB or STL or remesh to other formats if needed. Let's now try our last example image. Drag and drop the image into the image upload field, set texture quality to detailed, and hit generate. After the generation is done, you can inspect the model in the viewer. We can toggle materials on or off to see the raw geometry. And of course, we can download, remesh, retexture, or segment the 3D model into parts. Everything you create and generate on 3D AI Studio appears in your dashboard. That's your hub for all images, 3D models, and projects in general. If you don't have an image to start with for the 3D generation, you can use the Image Studio where you can basically generate any image you can imagine. To show the workflow, I'll pick ImageGen 
I'll use a simple prompt. 3D stylized warrior figurine holding a sword, clear background, pixel style. You can be more specific if you want. Add style terms, materials, camera angle, or say clear white background for easier 3D generation. I'll choose four images and click generate. In a few seconds, I get four options. I'll pick my favorite and click image to 3D. That loads the image into the image to 3D tool. Then click generate. While we wait, let's quickly check out another Image Studio example. I already ran the prompt and have the results here. You can see four variations of a stylized fantasy sword. If needed, we could now do a tiny touch-up with Edit with AI, where we can make the background pure white, remove extra shadows, sharpen edges, adjust colors, or change poses and styles. But this set already looks solid. Let's jump back to Image to 3D. The model's ready, built from that Image Studio result we just generated. I'll turn off materials so you can see the mesh the result is pretty good, and we can now directly download it or remesh it into different formats if we want. And that was the tour. For more, visit 3daistudio.com and check out the Learning Studio for short guides that walk through each step. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.